In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a beautiful farm like this. If you want to check out future farm builds, then make sure you like and subscribe. Also, if you want to download this save game for yourself, you can check out the Patreon down below. In this build, we'll be using exclusively console-ready mods that you can find on the in-game mod hub. The mods for this build are Stone Walls Pack, Decorative Details Pack, Old Farm Package, Flower Pots Pack, Parking Spaces, Placeable Vehicle Pack, Placeable Objects Pack, Decorative Rock Pack, Water Tap, Placeable Ramp, U.S. Mailboxes, Grape Processing, Garden Lounge, Old Brick Well, and this build will take place on the base game Elm Creek map. Okay, so to start out the build, we're going to see which house we want to place down and level this pad here. I know from previous history we need to level this pad, otherwise it's going to be all messed up. Now we're going to try and see what great processing stuff we have and other buildings and assets we have to work with. This garage will work really, really well next to the house. So we're going to go ahead and place it there. Looking at all the different props that we can use later on, trying to get an idea of what I have available to me. Uh, I, I did really like the water fountain, so we're probably going to end up using that somehow. Now we're trying to figure out the layout of the actual place itself, placing the great processing facility kind of near this field and also our loading ramp nearby as well as that's where the pallets are going to need to be loaded from. Now we're going to do something with the, uh, the, the thing that I was talking about earlier, that water deal. We're going to detail a roundabout uh, kind of deal as well as our main drive here. We're going to just go ahead and take away this field as it's, it just doesn't need to be there. Now trying to figure out which fence I like. I think we're going to go with this one right here. Try and keep it curving with the road. And uh, let's just go ahead and knock out this field as this is where we're going to end up building all of our grapevines. Okay, so now that we've got that knocked out, we need to figure out where we're going to put all of these buildings. So this one's going to go here and we're going to kind of create a little triangle-ish. We're going to put a parking pad on the back side of this one. I got to do some leveling to make this fit properly and it finally does. Now we're going to just extend that out so I can smooth that and uh, hopefully the lines don't end up floating. I'm trying to figure out what I should do for more parking. I think I'm just going to duplicate it on the other side and make a large gravel pad. I think that's essentially what it's going to be. I probably should have leveled that first, but it will be fine. Now we're just going to do some detail work, adding lights around the parking area to ensure it's nice and lit up and safe. I'm going to add the main drive into the parking area, separated from our actual grape processing farming area, if you will, as well as that secondary drive that I just cleaned up right there. Now, this shed here, we're going to end up putting golf carts in, and it's going to be an option for people to come and, you know, enjoy some wine tasting or a wedding or whatever it may be. They can get the golf cart out of the shed and they can take a, uh, a separated trail to that way our, our customers can stay separated from like the business side of things. So we're going to go ahead and extend this road all the way around and just follow the road that already existed. And we're probably going to just clean that area up again later. But for now, we'll just make a couple lines. Scrolling through, we're going to see what we can do for uh, the route that I'm trying to figure out here. And I'm thinking that we're going to build a bridge here and we're going to send them across this river. I don't want to use the same bridge for like my farm equipment and my, my customers. So that's why we're going to build that. We're also going to probably shift them behind this building here, which I think is really, really cool. Probably going to need a safety rail. So we're going to go ahead and install that. We could do some really nice flowers and stuff back there in a minute when we start to get to detailing. We're going to go ahead and clean up all that gravel as well and get our path put in here. Probably going to end up putting a building over there, so we're going to wait a little bit. Now, this area is really special, and this is uh, probably one of my favorite areas that we're going to build. I thought it would be really cool to build a wedding venue here on our vineyard. You get to see the grapevines off in like, the distance behind the wedding. I think it's an absolutely beautiful idea. I'm pretty sure they do this kind of stuff in real life. Whether they do the weddings there or not, I don't know. I know they'll do like receptions. We'll probably end up building a reception area as well. We'll make it like an all-in-one kind of thing. Just adding flowers and details and chairs and and painting the uh, you know the little walking path. We're just gonna keep beautifying this. Maybe put a few of these in the corners. And I think we need something going down that path. Yeah, so we'll look into that here in a little bit. This little corner over here with the rocks and the trees, a really nice spot for maybe some, uh, just kind of a picture area or something. 
and i'm not sure i think we'll just go with these little ones i was trying to keep an all white theme but uh a little bit of black pot uh in there is not gonna hurt anything so it's it's white flowers at the very least gonna go ahead and paint all this grass in now uh just trying to get an idea of what we're gonna be doing next i think Mm, I think we should probably start to work on the grapevines pretty soon, but honestly, I know where those are going to go, so there's no major hurry for that. Um, yeah, actually, let's just go ahead and do some trees. We're going to separate this path with some trees. I think these little ones, I forget what they're called, will do good. We'll put some nice willow trees, some big shade trees, and now these smaller trees are really just for decoration, just kind of like solidify that there's a path here. I think that front area will work really good as a park. We're just going to round this off towards the garage and add this one in here. Nice tree at the end. Once again, just kind of solidifying that this is a, a, a an area you would want to travel and spend some time at. Going to go ahead and plant these flowers and also add some lights spaced out every other section. This thing needs turned around. Uh, it was just too inconvenient for the, uh, the forklift have to go around the back of the building so we're gonna have them go right here like this it also gives us a better way to have a backup bump dock as well going around cleaning up uh some mistakes that i've made here i used the wrong uh fence the wrong stone wall so we're gonna get rid of that and also cut that one back just a little ways now we're moved on back to the vineyard area i'm gonna add a shed back here for an additional equipment storage i just feel like having one closer is gonna be really really nice and i'm probably gonna be really lazy and want to hold everything that i use all the time in that one particularly it's just it'll, it'll be nice to not have to drive as far we can go ahead and just plant grass in literally this entire thing now uh we don't really have any use for this land aside from putting our grapevines on them so we don't uh we don't need to like worry about tilling it up or anything when you place the grapevines it'll do all that stuff for you so we'll just go ahead and continue doing the front yard as well and around the main building this big yard that we took the sunflowers out of i accidentally went into that to, to gravel a little bit there and we're gonna extend that gravel pad now let's go ahead and do some more detail work so we're gonna add flowers and flower pots in this little nook here we're gonna add some stuff uh out here like i said this would be a nice picnic area and we're gonna add a gazebo kind of thing this uh i'm not sure how i feel about the mailbox to be honest we might come back and try and do some detail work here but i, I still don't like it so we're probably just gonna get rid of it keep adding flowers and stuff around all of the property overall this place is looking really good and you can detail it however you want to detail it so if you want more detail less detail different trees and different areas all of that is subjective this is just kind of a, a rough outline of like the overall feeling and flow that i was going for I'm gonna make a nice wine tasting area here i think that'll be really really nice we're gonna use the hedges as well. That way it feels natural and it's pretty low to the ground so you don't lose your sight line of the grapes. This area over here is a nice uh, reception area where you can have your little dance party. If I had some like disco lights, some like, you know, reds and blues and uh, whatever, the stage lights, I would add them here, but I don't. So we're just gonna have to make do with what is. We're gonna add some flower pots, make it pretty. You know, maybe uh, add some seating around these tables we're putting. Maybe give them a chess piece. I'm not sure. If, I think I have some. We'll have to go back and look. Porta potties, because of course, you know, you gotta, you, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Charmin Ultra Strong, am I right? There's the chess pieces that we're gonna add to a couple areas. Now we're adding the picnic tables to the wine tasting area, as well as trash cans to make sure people, uh, you know, clean up after themselves. We don't need trash laying around our vineyard. Now going around just cleaning up, adding more lighting to various areas. I'm trying not to overdo it on the lights. I really, really do like to add lights. So hopefully we didn't add too many there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and plant the grapevine. So we're gonna make them as long stretched as I possibly can while also like trying to respect the end so we have time to, room up, to move around and turn if we need. Uh, these used to be a lot more difficult to place and they made them so much easier. They kind of just automatically snap to where they need to go. I only messed up once or twice. You just saw right there. That's about all the grapes we're going to add for now. Beautiful view once those grapes get planted. 
There we go, guys. We more or less have the vineyard completely done here. The build time was about three hours, give or take a little bit. But now just giving you the quick run through the driveway to the house with the big, beautiful water tower right there with the round circle, the house with flowers out in front. Then just off to the side is a outdoor kind of eating relax area with some picnic tables. Beautiful bits of nature through here and an absolutely gorgeous stone wall encasing the property. Then we come over to the car park area where people can park their cars for events, wine tasting, weddings, things like that. They can also acquire a golf cart out of the little shed here. Taking us now down the golf cart track, we can turn off onto this little service road that connects the house to the actual wine production area beautiful separated path here with lighting and trees cutting between the two driveways and then a nice wide beautiful bridge that i placed here to be able to get across the little creek into the actual vineyard area off to the left here we will find another area where you can sit down relax and enjoy some wine out in nature and now moving back this direction Direction. We have a wedding venue as well as a reception area right over here that kind of overlooks the vineyard. A beautiful, beautiful backdrop. I think this is probably my favorite area out of the whole build. Moving back across the creek, we see the actual wine production area. We've got a couple beautiful sheds that are almost large enough for all of our, all of our equipment. We also have our grape processing facility, which is out of place compared to everything else but overall looks good. We also have this ramp here for loading your truck, and this took quite a lot to get lined up, but finally we did get it all working just right. This build also comes with a lot of open green space that we can expand into later if we so wish. Of course, more detail can be added over time, but that is the basic build of this vineyard. If you want to download this vineyard, then make sure you become a Patreon member in the description down below. I want you to keep in mind that only PC players can download the build. However, if you're a console player, you're welcome to follow the time lapse and make this yourself. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give a old thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this one. And until next time, I'll see you all later.